All right, guys, so before we get in this video, man, I want to do a quick little pre-intro video. Give y'all a quick PSA announcement, man. So I know that we will be doing a 5K giveaway. And this is one part of the giveaway right here. Once we reach 5K subscribers, man, one lucky winner will receive AirPods and, you know, whatever else that we decide to do. But don't forget to tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a family member to come join the channel, man. Don't miss out on the giveaway. We love you guys. I hope you guys enjoy this video, man. And... And hope you guys enjoy it. And don't forget to leave a like. Leave a, you know, if you haven't subscribed yet, subscribe to the channel. Also, if you're new, drop your name down below so we can do our post notification shout outs, guys. And hope you guys enjoy it. Peace. Okay, as y'all see, we are in a different spot today because we're finna try something new. We are finna try to vlog style. Even with some challenges and stuff. So. But yeah, we're doing a Q&A, but it's going to be like, y'all going to just chill with us in the house today. Basically, chill and we're do a Q&A So y'all can just see how it is around here at our house. Y'all just going to tag along. So. so, question for us. How many kids do we want? Yeah. I mean, you, I mean, you, you can explain yourself first. And... Okay, well, I guess three. You want three kids? I already got one, and that right there was a lot. So, so you want two more? Yeah. Two more. Two more. Me, I feel like I want a total of five kids. I don't know now. Legend, he be, he be ruining it sometimes. <laughs> oh, how they scream and yelling. But me personally, I want five kids. You know, I want a, you know, a medium, good medium-sized family. And you know, um, I just love kids, you feel me? I just love to play kids. I want, what, three boys. I want three boys. I want three boys and I want two girls. Do you have a preference? Mm, I want two boys Two boys and one girl. Are you going to breastfeed all of them? Guys, she breastfeed legend. She actually stuck it out a lot. Like, I thought that she wasn't gonna last long with breastfeeding. I mean, cause a lot of people, a lot of women don't last long, and I thought, you know, she'll be one of the ones that don't last long with breastfeeding. But she actually lasted a long time with breastfeeding. Like, she's still going, like. So, I mean, it's actually more healthier for the baby, for the brain development, stuff like that. So, I mean, it's good that she lasted that long. All right, next one question. Next question, what's the dream state y'all want to move in? Yeah, first. Why first? The dream state that we want to move in, like just live, have a house, everything yes. built, is California. That's what we want, you know, want to get us a house on. Um, we want a house actually built, customized by us. Like, yeah. we don't want to rent nothing, you know, or buy nothing. Already made. We want to build it from the ground, you know, you feel me? But, we gonna move you guys. Yeah. Ooh. Nope. No? Okay, we have plans to be moving. We gotta we pick you guys up there. We gonna move at the end of our lease. Yeah, where we at now we're gonna move somewhere. So Y'all actually need to watch these videos, like these videos so that we can get more recommended, please. Yes. By YouTube and share our stuff, y'all, because we really trying to get out of it. And we really trying to, yeah, make this like our primary source of income. Yes. Start having to work a little bit on fire because we don't want to do that that's not what we want to do so we want to be full-time youtubers so that we could be home with our family doing something that we love and you know see how far youtube can take us and see how far god can take us with all of this you know so that's the main goal is being starting off as full-time youtubers yeah. all right so next question let me see hey say hey legend <laughs> Hey, say hey. Say hey, Dad. Say hey, Dad. Okay, so next question is What's the hardest part about being in a relationship? The hardest part about being in a relationship is um, communication, I think. Is it communi like communication or going through that trusting stage where you trying to fully trust your partner? Because, you know, especially with being young. 
you know, you want to be, you know, some people want to be wild and free and have fun out there and stuff like that. So just basically really trusting your partner, significant other, because, you know, they might not have a, they might not have a friend that you would like them to have or this and that, but just, just have to trust them, man. You know, build that kind of communication, knowing that, you know, your partner gonna tell you everything and be honest with you. That's part of that and trust too is communication. So I think communication and trust go hand in hand. What about you? Yeah, I would say it'd be communication. Cause let me tell you, a relationship is such a commitment. But y'all gotta talk in order to get to everything that y'all go through. So yeah. I say it's that too. Okay. I mean comment I mean guys, like comment down below what you guys think, like what do you guys think like is the biggest, the hardest thing in a relationship, you know? No, or, or a key thing in a relationship. Next question is, how do you keep the spark alive? Okay, by keeping, like finding the, um, finding the time for each other. You gotta find the time, the actual, spend time together. Not just doing that stuff or going to get materialistic stuff. Just actually finding the time. Cause that's what you know. You know I'm busy time. Either. So yeah, just find the time. Personally, I believe keeping the spark alive, you know, is um just trying to challenge each other, like having a challenge each and every day. You know, trying to you know whatever you guys did, whatever you guys did in the beginning of y'all relationship. To, you know, get to where y'all at night, y'all would be a challenge to get to the next step. Like, y'all would be a challenge so that you guys will always have something to look forward to, a milestone, a break, an accomplishment to, you know, get to, you know, whatever you guys trying to do. I feel like that should be one of, like, the things you should do to keep the spark alive. You just challenge each other. No matter if it's spiritually, physically, mentally, emotionally, financially, find something to do to challenge each other so you guys can keep the spark alive. How do you move on from a first love? Me personally, just get over them. Just, if you really don't want that person, if you genuinely don't want that person, if y'all don't see yourself moving forward and don't see yourself making progress in your relationship to either work out the problems y'all have or even just to come to agreement of how you want your relationship to be ran, then I feel like that it should be easy to get over. It should be no love or loss because y'all generally wants to be done. And you know, there's no more challenges you guys can go through to keep it spark like previously, the answer. But um, yeah, just, just go on about your business and just find something that you want to do or what you want to be. Focus on yourself and just focus on building you and growing yourself. Next question is, how do you deal with temptation? So for y'all that's new, we are young, following Christ couple, and we're not married yet. So temptation is something that's like, you know, you just, you know, we already have a baby, right? So we used to doing that, but now we gotta make sure that we just Pray more and fast. really just yeah fast. We really gotta be you know what I'm saying on our game when it comes to doing it because temptation it be hitting hard. So we just deal with it by you know praying and fasting. I'm not saying that we haven't gave in, right? But could be good, but we're fighting it each and every day. Mm -hmm. And you know, like somebody told me that you know. Repenting, you know, just repenting fully and committing to God and really repenting to Him and let Him know that you're genuinely sorry and that you know that you want to change, you won't change, you know, you want a pure heart, a cleansed heart, you want, you don't want to be the same, basically, you don't want to be filled with you, but you want to be filled with Him. And if you really repent and truly repent and be sorry and turn away from your sins, then you shall be forgiven, you shall be saved. And once you cast that devil out and you rebuke him, man, he will flee. He will go away. So that's one thing. Just pray and fast and read Bodies your Bible. Read your Bible and study the word and just listen to your church music and do that kind of thing. Do those kind of things right there. All right. So
So next question is, what is the hardest thing? Mm -hmm. so, yeah, uh, what is the hardest thing about Twan slash me? You go first. What's the hardest thing about me? The hardest thing about you is just, <sighs> what do I start? The hardest thing about you probably is just, I don't even know. To be honest, guys, I don't even know where to start. It's so much that's hard about her. Like, seriously, like, this ain't even a, a joking matter. I don't know, you go first, man. I'll pick it back up. The hardest thing about Twin is his attitude. Nothing. He aggravated. Y'all know, y'all know. Already aggravated. now. Already now. The hardest thing about Deja is her aggravation. That's the main thing. Like, she literally get under my skin with the stuff that she do and say. Like, it'd be so aggravating. I'd be like, do I really want to be with her? You feel me? Like, that right that just yawning in the video. That aggravates me. No, I'm just playing. Aww. But, it's not playing. But for real, though, her aggravation is just so... But I have to deal with it because this is the person I want to be with. So, but if I would have knew that shit is aggravating from the beginning, Best believe I wouldn't be on her. Seriously, guys. Where you go? I already know told them. Yeah, aggravation. Not me. Yeah, her attitude and her bipolarness. Child, all those kind of things like you that right describe there. Yourself. All right, guys. So thanks for watching this video. <laughs> Definitely. What's the easiest thing or the funnest thing about Deja Slash Twan? One thing I mind about Deja is that she value you know our family. You know me, her, and Legend. Like she value that in. You know, she she doing good. She actually took the time out to learn how to cook more. Well, she already knew how to cook, but cook more. Like, she was more of a breakfast person, but now she done turned into a lunch dinner type person, like making homemade macaroni and cheese, all that kind of stuff like that. Like, she took the time out to do those kind of things to help us to save more money to put towards the things that we need. And not even that, just to help us, like, becoming more of a meal prepper, but not really into the meal prep. But you know, she's doing better at it. We're doing better at it because now that we're putting out meals that'll make us last, that, that'll last longer and make meals last longer. So those kind of things that like, she do it, make big changes to the family and try to, you know, think of better ways to be a better mom, a better girlfriend. The fact that she pray, she pray a lot. You know, that's it, the fact that she saved. Those kind of things right there, I value most, I admire most about her, and then her just genuine love. What about you? I don't value nothing about you. I just like. Yeah, stop <laughs> reading your mouth. Shut up, okay. Uh -huh. I value the main thing about him is that he prays. So if you have somebody that's gonna pray for you, that's good. All I need is for him to pray for me, pray for our family, and I'm, I'm happy with that. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote a whole book about you. <laughs> you only wrote a page. Oh, That's it. I'm not. <laughs> you know how you why you start writing um I you start writing the um essay and you and you write out the stuff to talk about and you just go to the book. Writing a little stupid stuff, saying the same thing you've been saying over and over. <laughs> no, but for real, for real though, I like this style. I would never love y'all like the vlog style. Uh, too, but that's it for but we gotta show y'all more though. We're not showing y'all. We're not actually vlogging. We gotta show y'all more of like, yeah, like what's we, really going on behind the scenes. Yeah, we're like really we a lot of stuff. Bed. So we finna start doing that. Like even our like walking. We walking, walk fixing in the food in the house, all that. Yeah, we finna just start doing it like that. Grocery shopping with us and um just going to the park out there. But we walk like we walk every morning as a family. We walk, get up and walk in the morning time. We're gonna start we're gonna vlogging start that. With the walk and all that. Everywhere. So starting, no, listen y'all. Starting tomorrow, we're gonna start that. Yeah, but really, I don't know if we're gonna be posting every day that like we've been posting every day. Yeah, we're gonna make changes. We're gonna make changes, changes so that we can actually be set on that and so that y'all can actually look know forward to it. When we're gonna post, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Like, y'all know we might we post do every day. A Monday, Wednesday, Friday type of thing. Which will also help us because it, yeah. will, help, it will help us because now, you know, we can. Find more time with God and also plan out better. Right, and y'all, we're gonna just start bringing out something. tomorrow. Y'all gonna be on journey with us. What's tomorrow? Tomorrow's the second, my Tuesday. Okay. And we'll drop it. We're yeah, look forward to that, man. But hope you look guys, forward to that Wednesday. Yeah.
Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Enjoyed the video. Hope you guys know. Enjoyed it so much. You'll yeah. tell a friend, tell another friend, and tell a family, family member members. to come join the family because, you know, we want to get, you know, we're going to do pranks. We're going to do challenges. But, you know, we want to just let y'all into our everyday life. All right. We want y'all to be a part of us, to grow with us genuinely, not just grow with us doing challenges and pranks, but grow, grow with us inside the home and knowing what we do behind the scenes. So, hope you guys and like look forward to it and enjoy those type of things right there. Right. Come, come right, today, shut up talking. <laughs> Comment down below if you guys have like any more ideas, anything that we can do to you know help y'all a part of this journey. You know, try to come up with different things that we can do for you guys too. Like we do post notification shout outs and if you want those things, comment down below. Let us know that you guys want post notification shout out. If you want to be notified in our video, we will do that also. Try to come up with little things that we can do to help benefit all of us because we're family and we're trying to grow like if you want to start a youtube channel we'll help you guys grow shout you guys out too so just come be a part of that yes because not every day is a glamorous day not every day we got on clothes so we just gonna, just like today i don't got my hair did oh. i don't got no cute clothes on and all of that i'm just looking all wretched but i'm in the house today y'all it's just i don't have a that. haircut i look rough too but hey, this is gonna be the everyday life with us, everyday lifestyle yes. with the TND family. I like that. I like that. I can make a little thing for that right there. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. We love you guys. Keep supporting us. Don't forget the 5K giveaway. We'll be doing a couple of things that for the giveaway. So don't forget to get us to 5K. And that's it. That. That's it. Peace. Peace. <laughs> Stick around. Let you gon' stick around.